this is Chris Chow reporting you with the latest news in the criminal field. At this moment, we've managed to get an interview with the criminal named Jovan. Ali, who is at the site, will interview Jovan to find out what really happened in a criminal's mind and what triggers them to do the things they do. Now to you, Ali. Hello, my name is Ali, and with us today we have Jovan. And can you tell us, Mr. Jovan, how do you spell your name? J O V five A X M R N. Why do you have a five in your name? Okay, why do you not have a five? It's silent. Okay, man, I'm just asking. So tell us, why have you committed so many crimes? Uh, it's a tough question I always get, but I think it might be because the neighborhood I grew up in experiences that changed me. What happened in your neighborhood? What experience? are you talking about? Alright, so this one time I was at McDonald's. I ordered double cheeseburger. They didn't give me no cheese. <laughs> How you gonna do that? And then they asked if I wanted Coke with that. I don't even like Coke. Pepsi. Oh wait, wait. And then I went to KFC right after that because I got mad at them. They didn't even have crispy chicken. <laughs> it's KFC. Everyone likes crispy chicken. <laughs> How many crimes have you committed? This year or like all together? All together, man. Okay, I can tell you this year I raped at least 17 kids. I'm not proud of it, but it happened. All because of your neighborhood? Yep. How was it growing? How was it growing up in your neighborhood? It was horrible. My parents even abused me. What kind of abuse, man? <laughs> Do you not want us to tell the viewers out there? I don't want you to. Alright. How many punishments have you had for your crimes? Well, alright. So, I got addicted to drugs in 98, and they sent me to rehab for that. <laughs> it's not like I didn't even like those drugs. I liked them. <laughs> you have to feel sorry to go to rehab. I wasn't in rehab. Horrible. They just wanted me to change, and I didn't want to change. <laughs> Did you commit any crimes after rehab? Well, I was still on drugs, so they just sent me to jail. How was life in jail? It was horrible, man. There's so much people. <laughs> Do you not like people? No, I don't like people. You know, that's why I rape them. <laughs> How many people have you raped? I told you, man, I can't answer all of them. Come on, man, this for the viewers. I stopped taking math in fifth grade. I can't count that high. <laughs> Alright, man. How did you feel when you committed these crimes? I felt... I felt good because people who grew up around me in my neighborhood, that's all, that's all they taught me how to do. I didn't know how to do anything else. That's all I knew. And that's why you commit your crimes? Yeah, that's why I commit my crimes. Thank you, Ollie. Now we have an interview with Dr. Joseph, who will be explaining to us the five different ways of corrections for a criminal and which one he likes the best. Now to you, Miranda. Hi, my name is Miranda, and today we are here with... Joseph. And what are the corrections that criminals have today? Um, well, there's the punishment and crime control model, and it's basically you just send them to jail. And then there's, the re there's rehab, and you just send them to like a facility to try to like make them a better person. And there's reintegration, and that's... You help them like um, fit back into society easily, and then there's restorative, and that's where they have to pay for all the damages that they've done. And which one do you think is the most effective? I think rehab is most effective if they actually want to change. Because if not, then why would they go? Oh, okay. Thank you, Miranda. From listening to both Javon and Joseph's interviews, I have made many conclusions. Javon says that. He, is, he only commits crimes because of the neighborhood group he grew up in. He states that it's the only thing he knew how to do, which is why he is a criminal today. I also agree with Dr. Joseph, Joseph's correction one about rehabilitation, but at the same time, I believe that restoration is better. Since you took from your community, you should give it back. That's it. Can you tell us your name, sir? Jovan. How do you spell that? J-O-V-5 
A accent mark in. Why is there a five in it? It's silent. You can't even hear it. It doesn't matter. Okay then. So, how many crimes have you committed? This year? In general. Oh. Okay, let's just say this year I raped at least 17 kids. 17? Yeah, this year. And why did you do that? Because of the neighborhood I grew up in. And what happened in the neighborhood that you grew up in? Well, it was my birthday. I asked my mom for an iPhone. She got me a white one. And a, and a white iPhone triggered you to rape people. <laughs> Anything else dramatic happen while you were little? My dog died. <laughs> there was no bad influence? Bad influence? What do you mean? Three. Three what? <laughs>